Try to make this video very, very quick. This is unboxing and thus assembly of a backpack barge. Okay, so when you open it up, you'll see it'll look something like this. The regular backpack barge models come packaged in a brown paper bag. The expedition ones don't really need that as fill because they have the floor and some extra space in there, so they just come like this. You'll see there is your serial number, your hull number for your boat is stuck in there or somewhere in the box. And when you take the boat out, try not to lose your, uh, your hull number, it's important. Okay, in the box you'll see your repair kit and your spray skirt if you have the expedition model. If you don't have the expedition model, you'll still have the repair kit. Uh, repair kit instructions for another day. All right, I'm going to move this aside. So the first thing you do, you'll notice this is a yellow boat, but the, the floor is orange. That's very common. You might have a black boat with a white floor. The, the color of the floor has very little to do with the um, color of the boat, except we try to use contrasting colors to a degree. And then also, uh, some of the backpack barge, or backpack barge expeditions have the, have the floor packaged inside of the outer hull rather than outside like this one. Okay, now this is the carry strap. So when you assemble this, you, you need to put that someplace safe. Use one of the carabiners to clip onto it, All right? And we'll, we'll put, this, we'll put the, uh, the floor in in a minute. I'm gonna put that aside for right now, okay? This is the main this is the inner hull here. Now, you probably when you get it from us, it'll come wrapped up like this with a, with a um, cinch cord on it. You take that off. We mostly use that for assembly. You, you're free to keep it and use it, but um, uh, you probably won't need it again because once the boat sits folded up like this for a long time, it gets a, a memory to it. Okay, so take that off. Now, you'll also see you have the one bungee cord with two hand paddles, and this is important, your uh, frame stiffeners. So, take this apart. Look and watch how it goes together so that you can understand. It's pretty simple. When, you're done, when you want to reassemble your boat, you just take your two hand paddles, you put that through there, you, then you put it through the eyelets of these uh, two, you, you put, you know, make a, make a U shape and then connect it when the boat's folded up through one of your uh, one of your or or locks. Okay, so take this, take the inner hull, set it inside of the outer hull, like that. Okay, so it's set inside the outer hull, and then open it up, so like that. Try to center the inner hull in the outer hull. So make, try to make the distance on this side roughly match the distance on that side. So that one's a little less, so I'm just going to slide it over. A good gauge is this small center uh, split ring and this larger center split ring on the outer hole should, shouldn't be right on top of each other. There should be a little bit of a distance between them. Okay. Now, by the way, if your hole gets dirty, the best way to clean these holes is with a magic sponge I found. And the yellow ones do tend to get dirty, as do the orange ones, so magic sponge is great. Okay. You pick that up, you fold it over. Let me see if I can, I don't really have a hands free, so I'll do the best I can here. All right, there's that one. Try to make sure that the, the path of this of this uh, strap is straight and it's not twisted. All right, hook one in there. I'm going to show you a trick about that in a minute. All right, let's do it on this side now. Okay, once again. Don't tighten everything up until you have all four connected. 
right? There you go. See, so that's a nice straight path. Notice it's not tightened down yet. We're going to do the other side now. So we'll flip your boat around. If, you're, if your ends come up, it's just the way it goes. Just, just try again. All right, so I straighten out this guy. I'll straighten that out. And connect it here. Okay. And then do the same on the other side. Now, here's the trick. When you tighten it, you can only, tight, you can only get it really so tight by using tightening this upper strap. So what I do is I make sure there's a little bit of play in the bottom one, okay? Because that, that's a lot easier to tighten. I'll show you why in a minute. Okay, once you get that pretty tight, then use this bottom one to really cinch it down. See, that, that keeps the boat nice and tight. Okay, see how that much easier? Because you're pulling down. With this one, you're pulling up, and it's just hard to get a, a tight fit. Now, all kinds of things, depending how long you own this boat, will eventually break, and everything you need, for the most part, should be inside your repair kit, including your uh, these hinges and buckles and so forth. But you should be able to get a pretty good... Um, run out of these without anything breaking, at least I have. You've just noticed I just pulled that apart. You want to make sure that the inner combing isn't laying on the outer combing. The outer combing should be free from that. Also, don't let too much space. Try to get this bottom fairly tight because this strap is a lot shorter. The reason the top straps are longer is because you can add additional flotation, which is something we'll have to save for another day. Okay. And again, tighten up this side. And then use this bottom one to make sure it's nice and tight. See how we have that? That's nice and tight there. Okay. And then do the same thing over here. Okay. The boat is mostly assembled, but... Now, if you have the regular backpack barge, you will insert... By the way, don't lose these straps. It's important. You want to hang on to those. If you lose them, you're going to end up having a improvise with rope and stuff. As soon as you take them off, use the carabiners like these ones to clip them on, just so you don't lose them. Now, the way these normally go on, if you don't have the Expedition model, is you start, there's one big clip back here. Okay, the, the, you need to know the difference between the stern and the bow of the boat. The bow is the side with the two oarlocks in front. Okay, it wouldn't make sense for you to sit and then have the oarlocks behind you. So, this is the bow, that's the stern. So start the pole in the stern. There's one larger one. That larger one is to allow you to click in the carabiner if you want. That threads through. And now this is the one tricky part. You have to go through the small one and then through the big one. Okay, and then you go through the end like that. Okay. And clip it, push it all the way in, clip it in just so it doesn't fall out. That's with the normal one. Now with the Expedition, you'll put the floor in. Okay, so, see it's, it's kind of bent like that because it's being wrapped up. So just put it bendy side down. That way the ends don't pop up. Okay, now you can run, these, you can use these grommets. You can run cord through there and attach your flotation. That, that just gives you the flexibility. You have the floor, all right? And... I'm going to have to get a better video of this. This is kind of a temporary one for everybody who has a backpack barge because I don't know. I want, I want, the summer's coming to an end here and I want you guys to have the instruction on how to use these. Okay, apologies. So this is the bow of the boat. Again, we know this is the bow because we have the two oarlocks locks in front. And this is the bow of the spray skirt. Okay, because you, you want this... Uh, you want this cord lock to be in front of you, not behind you. So that's how you know which way it goes. All right, so stretch this. It just fits over. Don't put the uh, bungee cords on yet. Let me see if I can give a little space here. All right. Now, when you put the, uh, when you put the spray skirt on, you'll need to take off the... Um, the the, the uh, fiberglass rod stiffeners. See, now that's also a problem. See, it comes off, but that's okay. 
you just got to be a little patient. So there we go. There's the back, the stern, back of the spray skirt, the bow of the boat, and the front of the spray skirt. Okay, do your best. There we go. Okay, it's on there. So we have the back and the front, and then you take this. You take this cord. The shock cord, put it over like that, and it should look like that when you're done. Okay, and then the back of the spray skirt, same thing. Make sure it's pulled nice and tight. Now, a, a note if you get a hole in the spray skirt, do not stress. We specifically use this material and the repair tape that comes with it because when this tape sticks to this material, it's essentially a permanent bond. You can fix whatever you need to with it. Okay. Apologies for all my boxing gear over there. My son and I had a race yesterday, so I took all my boxing gear out of my, uh, out of my gym bag. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I almost beat him, too. Yes, I did. I almost beat you. I was only, like, probably... 50. Fine. 50 meters is good for a guy my age. Okay. All right, so there's a little hole here. If these break, again, no worries. Just fix it with the repair tape. It's, it's basically a permanent fix. Okay, so start from the stern of the boat. Move it through. I'm going to try to show this as best I can. Okay, this is kind of a tricky one here. Okay, so what it does is this uh, fiberglass rod holds the spray skirt in position. Okay, so put it through the small one first, or the big one, whichever one is front. Sometimes, depending on how you assemble your boat, it may change a little bit. Okay, then through this one. You gotta kinda bend the fiberglass a little bit to get it through. Now, don't let it go into the hole again. You wanna, you wanna, keep, the, you wanna keep the rod on the outside of the spray skirt. Okay. Okay, there you go. See, so you push it in. So let's see, see, I push that in like that. And then you have the last one, which is right here. Yeah, I've come to realize I'm probably never going to beat my son at running. I do, I think I have a chance of beating him in the 500-meter uh, rowing sprint. If I really practice hard, I might be able to do it. 500 meters is kind of his event. Uh, lately, I have become enamored with the backpack barge's rowing capabilities because... As, a, as somebody who loves to row, I'm going to put it in over here. As somebody who loves to row, uh, balancing your stroke is a major, major hurdle for a lot of uh, beginner rowers because when you come from the ergometer, you're pulling on one cord. You're pulling on one cable. So moving to an actual boat or a rowing shell for, and for some people can be difficult because your stroke isn't necessarily automatically balanced the way it is on a ergometer and it's not supposed to be you know on some level you need to be able to steer that boat a little bit with your stroke especially if you're on a one-man uh, a skull so having this small boat although it's not no by no means a high performance uh, rowboat or uh, it will help you balance your stroke there we go you can fix it a little bit see that's straighten it out and that's it open that up climb in very carefully Head to the great white beyond. Battle the white waves. Okay, and disassembling it is mostly that in reverse. I'll try to make a video for packing it away because there's a few little tricks that you need to know. The biggest one is, this is the biggest one to remember, when you disconnect it like that, before you fold it up, pull it all the way in like that. That'll make disassembly a lot easier. Thank you very much for watching. Bye now.